Hello everybody and welcome back. So let's continue to do this radial meter. So we stopped off but by doing this part. So we can control the min and max, right? And if we do, I'm adding an extra inspector here. And so you have the width here. So let we want the zero to be here and the one to be here. We can do that so we can control it like this. Super nice. And the point thicken like this. So we're going to go in here and we're going to add the kind of background. So let's say we have this right here, right? We're going to add the background. So let's say it's going to be like this. So this is the shape we're going to make now. And we are going to do so yeah, we're going to make sure we name this. So we're going to do masking pointer and we're going to have these things to be pointer line. Super nice. And here we have um, Pointer start at zero. And here is adding percentage. Percentage. Cool. So we're going to make the shape that we're going to have um, that I just showed you. Yeah. All right. So the first thing we need to start with is um, tiling and offset. <clears throat> and we're going to rotate this one. But we, this is zero and kind of the center. But we want it to center to be here. So in order to change this, if you see, if you do negative values here, uh, negative, yeah. You see, we kind of offset it. So we need negative 0 0.5 and negative 0 0.5. Then we have something here. So that, that's nice. And um, we're going to use, if you saw the other round diagram tutorial, you're going to Maybe remember this one. So if we do a split and we do arc tan, arc tangent two, and so it actually take the um, the x value. So see, you can make it think about it as this being whoops, this being x. this being I. So that's what we're doing here. We're putting the X value to the R channel to here and the green one here. And that gives us the value. And what's happening here is that this is zero and um, it's tr trigonometry. And up to here, it goes one here. Then it goes to a uh, total pi, 3.14. And uh, on this side, it's black. So it's zero and down to negative one pi. So we need to work with it in a remap. Uh, we, we need zero to one. So we're going to do a constant and choose pi. So we're going to do a vector two and we're going to have a negate. So we have 
So here, this is like the same thing as doing 3.14 and negative 3.14. Yeah, all uh, like this. But this is more accurate. It has all the decimals and stuff. So we're going to remap this thing, right? Because what we have here, the input is input. And the value is negative pi and positive pi. Yeah, it should actually be this way around, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, as long as it works, you can try it out if you want to change the order of it. But uh, I'm going to do it like this. So the, the neat part about this is it's zero up to one. And now, because we have this, we can do a ceiling. So if we do, and why it is white is because it's zero here. What is zero dot zero zero one? And it uh, adds everything up to the closest integer. So it's going to be a one. So it's zero up to one, but it clamps everything to one. That's why it's white here. So if we do an add node here, we can, if we, so if this one is negative one, you should know that it's going to be black. And if we add, you see, from zero to one. So now we can kind of control it. So this is actually where the width is going. Because if we only have zero dot twenty five, that means that we the it's only going to be forty five degrees on the left side and the right side. So, well, it's actually 90 degrees. If you convert this to it's 90 degrees, I'm just thinking one step ahead. This is 90 degrees and you can see it here too. But now we need to offset it, offset it. So the way we do that is that we're going to actually, we can, uh, if we do an add, we can have it here to debug. So back here, we want to rotate. We're going to have the rotate in the UV. And if we start rotate now, you see that we have it like this. And what we want to do, if we have the width, it's between zero and one, right? And if we multiply it with 180, And then uh, zoom out. Okay, okay. With so, let's say it's one eighty. Um, if we do this one, subtract. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need to change it from radians to degrees, of course. So what's happening now is that uh, the width is from zero to one. And we multiply it, so it's uh, from between zero and 180. And then we take 180 and subtract 180. And then we get this result, because if we only had... Mm, this value, this is uh, kind of, um, if we would have um, it start zero here and go around, but now we actually want to um, offset it to the left. And that's why I multiply the width 
with 360. Well, well, 180. Maybe it's uh, make more sense if you do multiply with 0 0.5 and 360. What I'm trying to explain with this part is that we want to do the half of the rotation because we need to offset it as well. So that's why we do it like this. So now we have the background. So if we check where the pointer is and um, now we just do, we can just do a multiply with 0 0.5 first to show you what's going on. And then we do a max. And now we have it like, what? It didn't work? Why? Oh. It's going to be in the alpha. That's why. So now we have it like this. Super nice. So we're actually getting there. Now we're only going to add the, um, ray, the round part. And I'm going to show you a really nice way to do it. Not the way I did in the last part. But um, I'm going to show you a new way. So what you could do. If, if you do uh, a tiling, so we can actually just take this one. Now we're going to make a round circle of this one. So what I did, well, I'm going to do it from scratch. So tiling and offset, and this is zero here, and this is one, zero, one. But if I offset this into the center with negative like this, now, if I do a distance, it's zero and um, zero dot five. And what's really nice here, if if I do, so this is zero and this is uh, five here. But if I do a subtract, um, like this. So let's say I do 0 0.25. Um, now it's 0 here and 0 0.25 and negative 0 0.25. So if I do an absolute, we got 0 0.25, 0, 0 0.25. And this is super nice because now you can just do another subtract i hope you follow <laughs> but we're gonna have a we're gonna have a bar bar thickness and um we're gonna have here a bar radius so the bar radius is gonna be here so bar radius is going to be a slider. We're going to do 0 0.25. Bar thickness is also going to be a slider. So here. And also we're going to multiply it with um, 0 0.5. Because now, you see we're doing a circle. And the last thing we need to do is doing a ceiling. And you see now we have it. I really hope you follow along, understood what I did. But this is what I did. Center is zero. We do the distance. And so here it's negative, zero, positive. Absolutely doing it positive, zero, positive. And then we subtract it. 
and then everything that is above zero we do a ceiling and then we get one and zero so then we just do multiply these two and we have so now we have this one and also we're gonna have here color and the color is gonna be the base color and also we're gonna go gonna do the color on the pointer pointer color so i'm gonna do that to orange like this something like that and if we do this one here so let's say this is the color we want it to be in here but we want the um, pointer to be orange well we have the pointer here so if we do a lerp we do blue and we do orange we want always to be blue but the only time we want it to be orange is when the pointer is going in here and um, hmm am i missing something no this should be it it looks weird but it works so if we check this one out yeah it works see here this is great and we have the bar thickness we have the bar radius and we have the width here and it works zero and 100 perfect so in the next one i'm gonna add the noise that's gonna make it bounce a little bit and then i'm gonna call this one finished and it was a pretty tricky things we went through but um you just need to get started with it it takes time to figure stuff out but thank you so much for hanging out and watching see you in the next one